uh, a question for Dan. Would you feel rather that you are uh, Scully or would you are the, rather Bob? Are you rather the natural talent or rather the, uh, the hard worker? And did you go to uh, a cursus, university, etc. to study or did you just um, uh, move up in the company from a, a, a lesser level? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, I, I think I'm probably more of a Bob in this case. Uh, I um, studied a lot in school, uh, you know, had to work really hard to get better. Um, and uh, and then as, as, as far as kind of moving up beyond that, I, I studied fine arts and illustration in school and I did a lot of work in animation and film and writing on the job at Pixar. So it's a, it's a little bit of both in a way. C'est une bonne question. J'ai l'impression que je suis plutôt euh, Bob, euh, Bob qui en français s'appelle euh, Mike. Enfin, c'est oui. Voilà, exactement. Oui. Euh, mais moi, j'ai plutôt eu un cursus scolaire. J'étais plutôt un bon élève. Et ensuite, j'ai découvert les beaux arts et l'illustration dans, dans ce cadre-là. Mais j'ai aussi, du coup, dans ce domaine, fait de plus en plus de petits boulots chez Pixar. Donc, il y a un peu une combinaison des deux. J'ai aussi commencé euh, à faire des petits boulots chez Pixar en, en animation. Pixar uh, films have always been pioneers in uh, technical challenges, and there was the you know the concept of furs in the first uh, uh, Monsters Incorporated and water in um, in Burke's life. What was the particular technical challenge that you had to face on this one? Um, yeah, since Monsters Incorporated, the the um, software has come a long way. So the fur is not quite as difficult as it was in Monsters Incorporated. Um, but what was very challenging technically in this film was populating the world with so many uh, varied characters. Um, the models that had tentacles and, and wings and, and all the different um, t body types that had to be animated differently, built differently. Um, so that was kind of one of the, the big challenges that technologically we wouldn't have been able to do uh, during the Monsters Inc. time 12 years ago. Depuis le, le premier film, l'outil informatique s'est beaucoup amélioré et par exemple aujourd'hui pour nous d'animer un personnage avec de la fourrure n'est pas un problème. Par contre, ce qui, là, ce qu'on a essayé de faire et ce qui était un peu le pari de ce film-là, c'est de peupler l'écran, de peupler ce monde puisque c'est une université, c'est un campus, il y a beaucoup de personnages, des personnages qui ont soit des tentacules, soit des ailes, qui ont chacun un corps différent, chacun de ces corps est construit et animé différemment et ça, d'avoir autant de personnages que ça à l'écran avec des particularités si différentes, et si, 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 si spécial, ce n'aurait pas été possible euh, il y a 11 ans quand on a fait le film. I, I counted 50, but how many are they actually really? There's actually uh, almost uh, 500 unique uh, characters in the film. Il y a presque 500 personnages euh, individus, individu, en fait, dans le film. Yeah. It's a question from a fan, rather, and, and, and a question that is entertains, will entertain the internet very much. Celia was a, a very wonderful um, uh, partner for, for, for the hero, and uh, with this film we don't know her background, we don't know where, how their relationship starts. Yeah, we, we couldn't include everyone as much as we love those characters, and we also didn't want to make the world seem too small by having everyone at the university. Um, we tried different yeah. things here or there, but all the appearances from characters, Monsters Inc. characters, had to work the, their way into the story. Uh, that said, I uh, would keep an eye on the locker room when uh, at the very end of the movie, there's a little nod to Celia in there. So I need to wait for the next film? Uh, well, we don't know about that yet. <laughs> Oui, on aurait pu effectivement euh, utiliser tous les personnages du premier film, mais le problème, c'est que du coup, on aurait fait que ce second euh, épisode a été assez restreint. On aurait une liste de personnages qui auraient été les mêmes et ça aurait rendu les choses tout aussi prévisibles. Euh, donc, euh, ce qu'on a tenté plutôt, c'est de, de, de varier les choses. Mais si jamais à toute fin du film, vous regardez euh, attentivement, vous voyez le plan dans les vestiaires, vous voyez à l'intérieur du, du, du vestiaire, et là, il y a un, un détail, c'est bien quelque chose. Question for Dan: Do you remember yourself, your own fears as a child, and who is maybe your favorite character in this movie? I'm sure I was afraid of a lot as a child, and somehow I can't remember uh, what it is. Uh, the clowns are terrifying. Um, 
I, uh, and then my favorite character is, uh, is probably the Dean, Dean Hardscrabble. Um, she's just very, um, you know, physically terrifying, but more psychologically, uh, you know, um, scary. And, 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 uh, and she's a great um, sort of wit as well. She has a great wit to her, which I, I, I love. Um, and uh, I think that that's probably my favorite character. Euh, oui, euh, je crois qu'enfant j'avais peur de beaucoup de choses, mais je me rappelle pas vraiment maintenant. Les clowns étaient quelque chose qui me terrifiait euh, complètement. Et je dirais que le personnage que je préfère dans dans le film, c'est la doyenne Hard Scrabble, parce qu'elle a une, une elle a quelque chose de vraiment euh, effrayant en elle, qui impressionne vraiment quelque c'est quelque chose qui est vraiment de sa nature, et euh, et c'est 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 ce qui en fait mon personnage préféré. And we're excited that she's voiced by Catherine Deneuve in the, yes. the French translation, yes. which is very Perfect. Et il faut dire aussi que la sa voix française est celle de Catherine de Neuf, ce qui est absolument parfait. But do you think that Catherine Deneuve is a scary character? <laughs> well, I think that she's uh, got that sense of um, respect. You have to respect her, which is what we wanted. Elle a trouvé en tout cas le ton, euh, ce, ce ton autoritaire que nous cherchions. Uh, two questions. Did, were you inspired by Berkeley, which is actually close to, to, to the studios, and uh, what can you find, can we find the, re the, the uh, a real Pizza Planet uh, fan? Um, yes, we were inspired um, by Berkeley. We went to visit uh, a number of schools in the United States, and Berkeley was one of them. So um, we definitely took some inspiration from that school as well as all the others. Um, but it wasn't um, a complete rendering of, of that school. We wanted to make the campus of Monsters University something that would be recognizable for everybody. We wanted everyone to watch and say, oh, I've been on a, a school and it looked like that. I've been at university and it looks like my school. So, uh, so yeah. And? Uh, if you look online, there are some kids that made a real Pizza Planet car and have been driving it around the United States. So just Google image search, Pizza Planet, car, it's real. Euh, alors, oui, effectivement, euh, nous sommes proches de Berkeley et on a beaucoup vu que ça se passait pour moi euh, à la fac. Donc on voulait évoquer, non pas une en particulier, mais quelque chose qui puisse évoquer pour chaque spectateur un, un souvenir euh, euh, partageable. Et euh, concernant euh, Pizza Planet, il y a des gamins quelque part qui ont effectivement qui ont fait, euh, qui ont réalisé euh, ce, ce camion euh, et qui circulent à travers le pays et donc vous pouvez euh, taper sur Google Planet euh, Pizza Planet Car.